Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the new Arai Quantic helmet. This is the first helmet to go on sale here in the UK that meets the new ECE 2206 helmet safety standard. The new standard is tougher than the one that's been in operation since the year 2000 and it requires protection against higher impact speeds. It's no surprise to me that the first manufacturers to respond to that new standard are the two Japanese companies, Shoei and now Arai. Arai's Quantic is going on sale in the summer of 2021 and it's a sports touring helmet that's designed to give you comfort on the roads. It maintains the recipe of comfort and protection that served Arai so well and made them so popular in the UK over the years, but it also has some interesting innovations. The shell is made from Arai's peripherally belted structural net composite, which is an advanced method of combining fibres to give good impact performance. The peripheral belt part of that title means there's a band of extra fibre across the top of the eye port here that reinforces the shell and means the polystyrene impact liner behind it can be thinner in that area without affecting the protective qualities. Having a thinner impact liner in that area improves forward vision, especially when your head is tilted slightly down and you still want to look straight ahead. Arai's protection philosophy relies on a tougher shell than many other manufacturers, which allows them to run a softer impact liner behind it. Arai believe that gives better protection than using a lighter shell and combining it with a harder impact liner. That does mean our eyes tend to be slightly heavier than other helmets, and we're also expecting the tougher demands of the new safety standard to mean slightly heavier helmets in general anyway. In this helmet, our eye have used a different material as the middle layer of the composite of fibres, which it says has reduced the weight of the shell. So this size medium Quantic weighs in on our scales at 1560 grams. That's about 30 grams more than Arai's Profile V helmet, which is a comparable helmet that meets the old safety standard. So it's not a big step up in weight, it's not massively heavier than what's gone before, but it does seem that the weight saving from using that new material in the shell has been lost by the need to increase protection levels to suit the new safety standard. The Quantic shell also has another carryover from the Profile V in its shape. It has a five millimeter flare at the base, which makes it easier to put the helmet on and to take it off. The vents within the shell also bring something new for Arai, especially this one just above the visor here. The Arai logo is now on a raised plate, which is designed to break off in the event of an impact. And this raised plate covers a vent. Pulling out this lever at the top of the plate here covers the vent, and then there are two holes inside. So if you push it back down, that means they're now exposed and air is able to flow in and through those two holes. In my opinion, that's a little bit counterintuitive and most people I've shown this vent to feel the same, that actually they feel that that would be open and that would be closed, but it's the other way around. So it's worth remembering that if you can see that open, then the vent is closed. So this vent, which Arai call their 3D Arai logo duct, is designed to be more effective at lower speeds rather than higher speeds. Arai say it's more effective at 30 miles per hour than it is at 80 miles per hour. And I'd say that fits with my experience as I couldn't really tell whether it was open or closed when I was riding at about 70 miles per hour, but I could tell that there was a bit of air coming through there when I was riding through town. The other two inlet vents on the top are these teardrop shaped sliders on top of the shell, which are simple and effective enough at drawing in some cooling air. The chin vent is new for Arai and it's chunkier than their existing rocking closure and it's much easier to use as well. Arai say it has three positions, closed, open, and half open but I think that if this helmet is a gauge of how all of them are going to operate then it'll actually be quite difficult to find that halfway stage while you're riding and it's probably best to think of it as either open or closed. The final vents in terms of inlet and they're possibly the best of the vents which shows that sometimes the old ideas are the best are the visor brow vents. Rotating these two allows air to flow through there and there are a couple of ducts behind there that then channel air to the rider's temples they proved highly effective in my time with this helmet and they're one of my favourite things about wearing an Arai helmet. They're just really effective at bringing in some cooling air. All of those inlet vents are supported by exhaust vents that sit within this aero spoiler, which is, an, by the way, is another add-on that's designed to break off in an impact. This sliding switch here can either block three holes that emerge from the interior 
or they can expose them fully or halfway. On this helmet, it's much easier to find that halfway stage with that vent than it is the one on the chin bar. The other exhaust vents here are on the lower back of the shell, just there, and then there's also an outlet in the neck roll there. The visor is RI's most recent VAS-V system. It sits lower than the previous mounting system on older RIs, and it means more of the helmet's shell area can be protective. Removing the visor means detaching the side pods, which are tethered to the lid. So even if one does ping off while you're riding, you shouldn't lose it completely. If you want the full rundown on how to change the visor on this helmet, a link to our how-to video that covers the changing process will be appearing on screen now. The visor is protected against mist by a Pinlock 120 insert, which is also a max vision insert. That means it covers most of the visible area within the eye port to make sure you're looking through the insert rather than at the edges of it. The visor also locks in place with Arai's visor latch. Close the visor, give it an extra push, and then it locks down firmly in place. Then lift this latch lever, and it opens slightly to draw through some air, but it can't be fully opened unless you peel the visor away from that pin and then lift it. Moving to the interior, it's beautifully soft. It's typical Arai stuff. It's covered by a very smooth fabric, and there are also thinner sections wherever the liner sits behind a vent hole, so it's much easier for air to get through that lining to your head. The lining is all removable, and there are two sections of foam that can be removed from the temple section as well if you want a little bit more room inside the helmet. The cheek pads have pockets to house intercom speakers in comfort, and there's also a pocket in the neck roll where you can tuck excess cable from installing a Bluetooth comm system into the lid. It's quite a handy idea having that in there. The chin curtain makes the ride quieter, but it's fixed in place, so you'll not be able to remove and replace that. The strap fastener, like all other Arai's, is a D-ring arrangement, so it's sporty and lightweight. This is one of the first production versions, which we got our mitts on early so we could make this video. I've worn it for a couple of hundred miles now, and I found it very, very comfortable. The venting mostly works well, I didn't notice the logo vent bringing much air through, especially at higher speeds, but the others are very effective and the lining is typically plush air. I'm very comfortable. It is heavier than other helmets in the class, but not by much. And that's long been the case that people expect our eyes to be a little bit heavier and very, very rarely do people grumble about the extra weight. Because we've had this helmet before, the Quantic even goes on sale. I can't give you any customer feedback on it just yet but our eyes in general have a very loyal following of people who rave about their comfort and their build quality. At a starting price of $499.99, it is a premium cost, but virtually every our eye owner talks about how pleased they are with their helmet once they've splashed out for one. It'd be interesting to see how the new Quantic is received, but my money would be on the owners being full of praise for this new model. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the our eye Quantic. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.